Hey everybody, <clears throat> Craig Cuddle, Director of Nature Line School, out for Woods Walk. Hey, check that guy out, just as I started. Can you see right in front of my boot, Mr. Box Turtle? Um, I'm not a big fan of picking up wildlife, but let me show you something real quick. It's actually Miss Box Turtle. If you look on the underside of a box turtle, the females will be flat and the males will be concave there so they can ride the female uh, for procreation. Just a little tidbit. And those things hold a lot of bacteria. So I'll wash my hands as soon as I get back to the truck. But uh, we've had some heavy duty subjects lately so i thought i'd do a little lighter fare today talk about some gear uh, just as a reminder next thursday at 8 30 i'm going to be going live here on facebook or on facebook if you're watching this on youtube uh, i'm going to go live and go over my basic setup for a survival kit uh, i actually wish that we had planned this sooner with all this hurricane stuff going on Holy mackerel. Check this out. See all these shells here? <clears throat> this is a real good thing right here. <sighs> these are hickory nut shells and they're coming off of that shag bark hickory right there. Little tree. Uh, got a lot of nuts. This is why here's next thing to show you well let's plan on talking about gear but I don't know if I'm gonna get it in um, these are the cuttings of a shag bark hickory nut cuttings meaning those were cut by a squirrel what the heck forget the gear I'm gonna stay right here and talk about this so you can see in the background all those the outer shell okay so shag bark hickory is a real identifiable tree Love it when stuff happens spontaneously. Uh, shag bark hickory, the bark looks like that right there a lot. It looks like it's falling apart, like it's maybe unhealthy if you're not used to seeing them. But that's a perfectly healthy tree. Matter of fact, those um, pieces that are coming off there, the bark actually are home to a lot of insects that won't necessarily harm the tree as well as homes for bats. And a lot of people freak out about bats, but man, bats are basically uh, mosquito vacuum cleaners man those things can tear up some mosquitoes so building bat, hazel, bat houses and having them in your area particularly around water will help alleviate some of the mosquito issues naturally so that's pretty cool but uh, seeing all these nuts here actually not the nuts the shells is an indicator that squirrels are getting into them and these nuts are ready to go uh, it's one of the first nuts that you'll see squirrels cutting uh, heavily and they don't think about this squirrels don't know hunting seasons all right a lot of people equate hickory nuts to the beginning of squirrel season because it's a big indicator of squirrels so if you have an area and you want to squirrel hunt early in the season then uh, find yourself a shag bar hickory go to it to and from it on a regular basis and uh, when you see them starting to cut, then go back there the next morning before daylight, sit up and wait, and you can get you some good squirrels. It's a real good, simple way to teach people fundamentals of nature awareness for hunting. Uh, great thing to show kids because there's so much visual there. When I say kids, you know, beginning hunters, and you could be an adult. Um, beginning hunters is probably a better way of saying that. Showing beginning hunters, some of the fundamentals of hunting, which is be in tune with nature so you know what's going on around. Uh, if you're separated from it, it's hard to, to be a good hunter and to be a proper, what I would call a proper woodsman. Conservation and stewardship is important. So yeah, a uh, little spontaneous little box turtle there, as well as uh, some hickory nuts that were being cut by squirrels. So more often than not, in an area like this, you'll find gray squirrels. 
gray squirrels I find to be more palatable, not necessarily as tough as a red squirrel. Red squirrel you'll find on um, edge habitat more often than the grays, meaning, you know, where fields are going to meet wooded areas and stuff of that nature. And quite frankly, I don't know why. Uh, if somebody knows why, then throw it in the comments below for all of us to learn. So, yeah, that's my take on it. Uh, here's some ideas. <laughs> Talk about a spontaneous video. This turned out good. Um, I'm just trying to think of a good recipe if you want to get into squirrel hunting. Oh, here's a good one. Um, that's simple. I don't have to have a recipe card in front of me. One of the things I do often is to take squirrels, put them in a crock pot, because they do tend to be a little tough. Put them in a crock pot, let them stay in the crock pot overnight. Uh, you can boil them if you, over a campfire to do the same thing. Loosen the meat up, pull all the meat off the bone. And then what I like to do is take that meat and put it in some aluminum foil, or something of that nature. Put some barbecue sauce on it, put it on the grill. Heat it up that barbecue sauce, let that barbecue sauce uh, cook in there. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's good. Um, keep in mind, a couple other things to avoid is uh, in this part of the world, if you're seeing squirrels that are primarily in a pine tree, they will taste like a pine tree. Um, Tracy Trimble and I have talked about this several times. Um, uh, I haven't eaten a lot of them. I only eaten, only eaten, I only ate one one time because that was enough. And the one that I killed, and I've heard this from others, and again, I don't know this for certain if this is real common, but those that spend a lot of time in pine trees oftentimes will have darker fur. Although, you know, I saw one the other day with black feet that wasn't anywhere near any pine trees. So with that said, um, that's some ideas for you as far as uh, some nature awareness for hunting and putting food on the table because at because at nature reliance school we're all about come on join in let's learn together hey i hope you liked the video if you did then consider subscribing to us on youtube liking us on facebook and as always we would love to have you join us in a class